Hello everyone, welcome back to Throtty Unclean. And we're pushing deeper and deeper into Kislev while eating the tasty delicious Kislevites inside. And we should be able to reach Prague next turn, which we're gonna have to fortify a little bit, because it covers one of the few crossings into the north. But more importantly, it'll give us more food cap, because we are so close to 140, which lets us sell Swedora as tier 4. And then we can get Storm Fiends. Although, the first circle will be able to be upgraded to tier 4 next turn, so we'll get it from there either way. But Swedora will let us get more of them. We're also gonna go and get Gorich this episode, but I think we'll take Prague first and then grab Gorich, because we're probably gonna dump a little bit of food in Prague, and doing some quests will let us recover that food. So, I think we're just gonna pass the turn and go and take Prague. Oh, I guess uh, Serena Catherine declares war, which I really should have expected, but sure, I guess more Kislevites to eat. And I guess I didn't tell this guy to move far enough. So, I think we're just gonna send him to Midland, maybe? Just. Because we're just about inside the Empire. And I think Midland is just kind of nice. Because it's fairly settlement dense. And uh, we can just spread our other cities all over this place. So right there is pretty good I think. And we can even eventually get to Altorf. Although while we're here we might as well maybe just go to Altorf. I will see. Let's start by going to Midland and see how we feel there. And uh, I guess... Okay that's not... That's not Catherine. And, uh, hmm, does that change anything? Because the only thing you can attack really is Kas Kasurk? Kachurk? I don't know how to say that. I don't think it's changed anything because I kind of want her to take this. Because then we don't have to fight this army inside of the city. Because we can go and take Prague, they go and take Kachurk, and then we just go and kill them. So, yeah, nothing changes. Oh, and, uh, I think we're getting rid of a Slinger here. Because I want a Burring Behemoth. Because I think they're rad as hell. And I just really want them. So, we got a close victory. And, uh... Yeah, that's fine. Oh! Was that blinking? Because I really didn't see that blinking. Oh, well, it's fine. It's an aberration. I kind of, uh, Don't need them anymore. We're just gonna replace them with other things. And I think uh, just one click is fine. We can we can get that back. And I don't think we need much more than that because we're just gonna we're just gonna get ourselves defenses and I guess uh, grab the docks or I guess repair the docks. And we can grab that eventually, but I mostly just wanted the campaign movement range for now. So I think we're gonna go with the more growth juice. Just yeah, so we can have more vats. And I want to finish his uh, special... His special skills before we start doing all the other st stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna recover for a turn. And uh, then, we're, then we're going for Gorich. I'm probably grabbing another... Rat Ogre maybe? Yeah, probably. So that's fine. Uh, gotta remember to do this as well. Tier 4, here we come. And Oh, dang it. I thought we could reach. Because it looked like we could, but I forgot we were in March stands. Oh, and there's a lot of scaven corruption, or scenes corruption here. So, how far can we get in, in camp stands? Well, far enough. We can definitely get there next turn. And right, you need to go and just pop into uh, to Throt's army and then go out again. Because I just need to finish that quest. And then we're just gonna send you down into the mountains, I think, to find a nice cozy little dwarf hole that we can we can scavenify <laughs> as we do. So yeah, let's just go and sit you right there. And let's pass the turn. Oh, perfect! They did go and take it. So now we can just go and kill them next turn. Excellent! Oh, and etc. Just military access. Nah. Gotta go and see if we can make friends with Kolek though. Because I do not want him rampaging through my mountains. Alright, so we lost that. That's fine. Oh, we can get the dominating scheme. But we might want to hold on to that until after we've settled 
Svedora. How many turns do we think this is gonna take, though? Because it lasts five, and then there's a ten, ten turn cooldown afterwards. So if we take this, we'll go and uh, well, we'll go and sack this right now. Boop. Yeah, sack it real quick. That's fine. And we'll uh, go around and raid. We'll go and take Kazarla. 135. Well, start by popping you in there. And remove you. So that's enough to finish the quest. That's a little bit of money, a little bit of food. Excellent. And right, before we go and do anything, let's grab... Yeah, let's grab another... Rat Ogre. I love Rat Ogres. They're awesome. So that, Oh, and we finished that. Excellent! So, I think it's time for Gorich. And, oh, right. We can't be garrisoned while we do. So, go and sit you right there. And go and get Gorich. And that is a Pyrrhic victory. Which, uh, fair enough, they do have Chosen. Which uh, isn't exactly... Good for us, <laughs> but I think we'll be fine. I like that he just starts rhyming and- Oh shit! Uh, they've already killed one of my things! What the shit? Um, okay, I should've skipped that cinematic! <laughs> what? <laughs> I was not ready for that! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! Um, rat ogres! Rats! Go in a- Go and kill the spawn. Um, you just go and intercept that. You go and intercept that. These are all fine. Go and attack in there. They won't be back. So, he's not coming back. Kill this uh, exalted hero. Oh, and that. They really just threw that at me. <laughs> they killed my clan rats before I even had the opportunity to do anything. Oh, a fucking help in abomination versus mount or fucking giant. Oh, that's nasty. Come on, hit him. Oh, I think he won. Oh yeah, he fucking killed that guy. Excellent. So, you start going in there. Um, you back away. Send in the hounds into the Forsaken. Let's get a breath on them too. And yeah, this exalted hero is pretty much dead. Surrounded by clan rats. Let's go and help Gorich, because if Gorich dies, we lose this. Man, this... <laughs> this fucking... This fucking quest was unfair as hell. <laughs> I kind of love it. I did not remember this was being a... This was a thing. Uh, you guys, back off. Actually, you, go and throw your shit. Some rat ogres are really getting their ass beat. Um, let's send you into Chosen. And let's send you over to help, but it seems like 
Gorich is doing all right. Where is he? There's Gorich. So he's. Oh, he is. <laughs> what? Is... What have my mods done to you, Gorich? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> Why are you a fucking PlayStation One monster? Oh crap. Well, I think we just won. Um, okay, I thought there was some chaos spawn somewhere, but Gorich... Gorich has mutated a lot since I last saw him. So, that kind of went from 0 to 100 from nowhere. But, turned out alright. We're pretty hurt. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that's alright. We're just gonna take the money, and that is gonna cap us, which I guess is a little bit unfortunate. But, eh, it's fine. And get charge bonus for Skaven Slaves and Giant Rats. Yay! <laughs> um, the upkeep is pretty nice. The camp and movement range is pretty great. And the very good leadership for all the Mulder stuff is excellent. Oh, and we got the Fighters of, of uh, Hell's Deep. That is sweet. So, um, let's get rid of the Skaven Slaves. They do not need to be here still. And, uh, right, we all... Yeah, I did go and check this because uh, this did start working right away. I was uh, it was pointed out that I had to put him in and out again, but it seems to be working anyway. So, it is fine. Don't care about that right now. We have all of that. We don't have any trade. So, yeah, let's just keep doing... Uh, Combat stuff for you until we can get shock color, because that's gonna be great. <laughs> Good for and yeah, just trial. keep grabbing that. And we want any of these. They're very marginal. It doesn't really do much of anything. Yeah, let's just give him some missile resistance, I guess. So he doesn't die from shooting. Because we are fighting kids live, so. Might be a little bit useful. Ambassador of Filth is pretty nice, but so is Wither. I kind of like both of these. But we want to get to Pestilent Birth before we start getting more of these. I think I like just Wither. Great for for debuffing whole blobs. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, and dried mushrooms. But, yeah, keep grabbing Flesh of Ruin. We need to get to Arkin Conduit with you. Oh, right, and you're new. So we'll go and grab uh, the Hounds uh, later. So, yeah, now we just move up north with you. And we still need a unit, so... Ooh, the Natty Bubos. But we're going to grab the Fighters of Hellpit, or... What are they called? <laughs> I already forgot their names. Um, Pit Fighters of Helldeep. Right. Almost. Oh, right. I guess we fight this. So, first of all, let's get all of these out of the way. Um, I think we can rest these. Just let them, let them recover. You too. I don't think we need your magic here. You'll, you'll be alright. So... What are they... what are they doing? Oh, I guess these are just hidden. <laughs> I thought they just put some stuff out on the edge. But let's spread these out. And are you still messed up? No, okay. It's just in the... in the quest battle because Gorish looks badass as hell. And he's kind of our first Storm Fiend. Because I would call him a Storm Fiend, right? Probably. So, we're just gonna spread this out real nice and big because we want to be able to fight all of the... All of the shooting at once. That's kind of how we beat Kislev. And uh, we'll spread these out nice and good too. Actually, you can hang back here in the in the injured corner. Oh, you're gonna be instrumental though. So you'll be group two. Like so. And actually... Let's put them out on the flank. There we go. And you can be your own your own little group because you're gonna be you're gonna be sneaky. 
Because it can burrow, and it can burrow far. It can almost get to the army from there. It is so ridiculous. So we're just gonna park you in the woods there. And we're gonna send you in when you're needed. In just backline things. So it's gonna be great. Alright, I guess I put someone in range, so... There we go. Yes. Oh, wait, no, no. There we go. Yes. Get on up there. You get in there. Wait, where's the other... Oh, there's the other rat ogre. Get you in there. Get you in there. We can pop some of that. Gorich. Get in there. We'll uh, get some rats behind. Let's get in there. Get on in there. And get some rat ogres in here. With some clan rat support. It's gonna be fine. Pop that. Let's... Uh, let's remold our... Not the wolf rats. You don't need it. Where'd the Gorich go? Ah, fine. Let's just give it to you. Oh, there go there's Gorich. Let's get the drill on. Yeah. Love it. Um, Packmaster, let's get ourselves another summon. And you're all doing good enough. Oh, right. The Burrowing Behemoth. You're gonna be needed... There. So, from that forest, we just... Okay. It's pretty much dead when we got here, but... <laughs> there we go. I just think that's... That's just cool as hell. Oh, you're supposed to go and fight. So let's pop you over there. Got some wolves running away, but that's alright. Let's give creature killer. I don't think it <laughs> it's necessary, because I don't think they have anything large, but... Hey, why not? We got abilities pop. Gotta, gotta pop them. That's what they're here for. But we're pretty much done over there, so chase those cultures down. You're fine. Oh, I forgot about, forgot about my shooting. That's all right. We're probably not gonna have it around for that much longer. Just replace it with more monsters. And I think that is uh, well. There's. Still this, I suppose, so break that, I suppose. Gorich, go and break that. Because I think this is the last holdout here. Ooh, we still got the things in the woods there as well. But that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just get some houndos in the back. And that should be our losses. Yeah. Just have to wait for the stupid Kislev passive. God, Gorich is so silly. I love him. Such a cool model, too. But how is this uh, not over yet? The enemy lord is dead. And uh, there we go. Now the Kislev passive stopped working. So, oh, we somehow lost a clan rat. Huh. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. I think I know how that happened. I think we got a sweet ass volley on our ass. <laughs> it's fine. We can we can replace that no problem. And we do not need to upscale that. We are we need four more. This is gonna give us two. You can go down there. You can go and take that, and then we take Svedora. Sweet. So let's uh, let's just go down there. This way we get some uh, we get some scouting on Kislev and we get to find some fun stuff. And let's actually give you that. And I think we can just let you auto level. Although there are some good skills here we can do. Never mind. So, Frenzy Assault is pretty good. We can get Norse Gun Rage, which is also sweet. <laughs> Witness me! That's some good, some good Mad Max stuff. Ooh, and we can give him Mark of Cord. I did not remember him getting that. It's been a while. I don't. It's been a while since I played Throt. But yeah, there's some nice shit here. Can get him Guardian as well. It's very nice, although I don't think he can keep up with the Throt though, since he's on a 
a horror, but yeah, let's uh, actually that's pretty nice. Oh wait, does that? No, okay, it's just <laughs> I just saw lock and got worried I got locked out, but no, no, no. We're we're gonna grab this first, and then we're gonna go into this, because this is still gonna be good for all the characters we have in the area, and it gives loyalty faction wide. That's pretty nice. So good. good for the um, I think we're gonna keep some of these to this guy and just random armies. So for now, just oh, let's get a wolf rat. We don't have any wolf rats. We do have summons for it, but kind of want more wolf rats. Because I I do really like wolf rats. So we can upgrade you. We are taxing this finally, so that's nice. And I guess we can get more pack masters. I wonder if we should just uh, try to conserve some money here, though. Nah, I don't think that's necessary. Although, actually, this is going to be done in two turns, so we got a little bit of money to dump here. Yeah. Well, not there, but... Right, we get the Doom gunship, too. Oh, I love that thing. That is such a cool unit. Wait, there's two of them. Oh, wait, that's... Is that not the one I'm thinking of? The... Like, bomber. Is that up here? Oh, it's the Doom bomber. But, I mean, the Doom gunships are cool, too. But I was thinking of the Doom Bomber. It's alright. Still gonna be sweet. Where's the cab thing that we can get? Is that in here? Yes, it is. Because I want the bu Bubonicus Riders too. And those are gonna go in uh, Throt stuff. Because uh, that feels just right. Because they, they're riding some kind of weird boar rat thing. And I love it. And I guess Sartorial has had enough, but I don't care. I'm gonna s uh, settle... what's it called? Svedora. Whether you like it or not, so you just best get used to this. And we're getting close, and Festus is doing really well over here, so I think we're just gonna ignore this place. And, uh, I mean, we could settle pretty much whichever... Um, whichever high tier settle or... Capital settlement, I guess, we wanted, but this is just so nice and self safe, snugged right next to help it, so this is gonna be so good to protect. So I kinda just really. Oh, are you gonna. Fine, just underway away. <laughs> I guess we got a little bit of stuck in that zone of control, but that's fine. Let's go and take you. Oh, hello there. There's Serena Catherine, and we got a, a thick stack of stuff in there. But we're feeling very healthy, and we got a Burrowing Behemoth for that uh, that sweet, sweet uh, siege work. Because not only does it have siege or wall breaker, we can, uh, we can just burrow it inside. So it's gonna be sweet. Uh, I guess we're gonna fight this though. Although, hmm... We could just sit and siege this, if we're confident that we can take on Katarin and this army and the garrison <laughs> and the f the what? She's cheating. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess uh, we're gonna have to do it with this stuff in that case. But I think we can take it. And we're gonna go into Monstrous Plants, which is actually gonna give us our food cap. So, you might wanna go and get this next turn anyway. Hmm. Well, I think we're gonna try to get this in the field. I think we can take that. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, I guess just in case, we'll uh, build a couple of siege towers. Why not? But I think yeah, I think we'll do it like that. Let's see what happens. And yeah, of course he's gonna go for it. 
This is gonna be hard. Um, we're gonna... We're gonna grab a couple of these because apparently we had none. And yeah, let's uh, let's go and see if we can do this. Because this is not gonna be easy. Alright, so the reinforcements are coming from the east. And where? Okay, we don't get to see their armies, but... I'm guessing they're gonna set up... Actually, let's go from here. Just give this a little bit of space, give them time... Just make sure they take a little bit of time getting over here, and they might just set up to fight us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be optimistic here and just assume that they're gonna want a nice, fair fight. And actually, you're gonna be group two. And we'll spread these guys up real nice. Don't need them in the center. Because the center, we're gonna have, we're gonna have our boys. Gorich, you can go. Actually, you'll be in the center too. And you know what? You can all be in that. You're in group two. Um, you're gonna be over there. We'll put you in group four and group five. Why not? Oh. And you are gonna go on top of the Ice Guard. And I guess we're gonna have to spin around a little bit. That's alright. Let's run you around. And uh, let's actually pop these out right away. Come on. Go. Come on. Go get them. There you go. And let's just send you up. Send you up. Send you up. And here we go. And we're catching these real nice. They're even bombarding their own stuff. So, let's... Uh, yeah, let's just get in there. We can probably... Pop some of those right there. Where's the ice guard? There they are. Okay. So before they start shooting... Burrowing Behemoth, pop in on the Ice Guard. You get in over there, you get in over there. Let's get a fat pestilent breath through there, that's gonna be great. Oh, get in on you, get in on you, get in on you. I think they did get a volley on us somewhere, but that's alright. We're gonna have to pull back though. Let's get you in there, let's get you in there. And we're killing most of their stuff, and there's half a minute left, so... I think this is gonna be pretty good, though. Ah, just murder through these stupid Kislevite. And... God, the burrowing beam is ugly. <laughs> Love it. And everyone is doing pretty well, actually. Let's uh, wither these guys, just to rub it in. If you're not doing anything, go and fight Katarina. Go after Katarina. Uh, let's get some of those. And we need to heal anyone. I guess you're a little bit hurt because you're unstable. But here comes the rest. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. Let's box these guys in. Actually, probably didn't need to do that. But let's get in on them anyway. Gorich, just move on up. You're dying, that's good. Let's just send you on up. Send you on up. It's gonna be alright. You should be thoroughly shattered, I think. There's three left of you. Just get on moving. It's fine. So you guys get up and start fighting again. Move you in there. Help in Abomination, you can absolutely just slaughter Cosmite Dervishes. And we gotta flank around a little bit, I think. So, send you around. You. Get more wolves out. Thank you. So, you two. 
YouTube. <laughs> go around as... No, go around and start hitting things. You guys just move into the center. Oh, shit. Um, get some rats in there. Just blob that up. Lock their advance. Send you on in there. You are gonna just move on forward. I think Catherine is, came back. So, move in there. Burrowing Behemoth. Back away from combat. I'm gonna need you to get all up in there. Get in there. Get in there. It'll be fine. Uh, grab these guys. In there. In there. <laughs> Just push on in. You are supposed to be fighting. You might take a lot of damage there, but we got some wolf support at the very least. That's great. Try to get more, more clan rats in there. I believe in you. You're gonna be fine. Let's give him a spin. Yeah. <laughs> Such a silly ability. So oh, these wolf rats are running. That's fine. Push on in. These guys are gonna break. And we don't care. How much do we need for a pestilent breath? Eight. Well, we do have the reserve. So you go in and help fight a little bit. You'll be fine. So. You go and murder that. You go and murder that. Oh, and I guess just pop all of that. Alright, oh, that's not the health thing. Oh, put it on you and <laughs> go and fight. It'll be alright. So, let's get a pestle of breath through the causers and... Uh, and... Uh, what's their face? Strelzy. Good, good, good. And, yeah, this, this is pretty much over. We're alright. I think... Yeah, that's this is starting to be army losses. So nice. That was that was an intense one. That was a really fun one. Just gotta overwhel overwhelm the shooting. And enjoy the slaughter. I mean, it is fast forward. Well, no, not anymore. Just enjoy eating Kislevites. Yep. Oh, there we go. That wasn't that wasn't that bad. <laughs> we took way less damage than I thought. I was pretty sure we could win that, but that was great. We just absolutely slaughtered them. Damn, the rat hookers are so good. I love them. But yeah, we're gonna need a little bit of replenishment, but we should be able to just waltz into the city now, especially since we're building towers. And gut blout. All right. Um, oh, there, there are new al <laughs> our, our new neighbors. I guess we can grab a non-aggression pact with you then, since uh, since the coordinates aren't there anymore. Ooh, the forbidden rod is kind of really nice. Um, let's grab that for you. Let's start with a talisman of preservation. It's gonna be great, especially once he gets his uh, his little bell thing. Let's give you Forbidden Rod. It is gonna do a little bit of damage to him, but that's fine. If we could find a... 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 Oh, well, I guess you don't need that yet. But it's actually gonna be pretty good for you, because you are gonna get your Plague Furnace in... seven levels, which is apparently going pretty quick. So it's fine. Let's just give it to you and forget about it. Enchanted items. Do we have any? We have Skull, which is actually pretty nice for you. Gives you middle defense and a heal. But no armor. Kind of don't like any of any of these. Both of these are kind of terrible. So let's fuse and... Well, Fences Blade is a lot better, but I was hoping for an armor. That's alright. We, we have not given... You all the stuff. I guess uh, Crown of Command is fine. 
The other seems to have stuff. Well, except for you. Let's keep your fencer's blade. It's gonna be fine. But let's level these boys. Let's give us some leadership. Let's give you a shock color. Wait, there we go. And yeah, let's just give you Blade Master. It's gonna be alright. And get Throt's greatest creation. Yes, yes. And just some hard to hit. And we do have the cap of 40 now, but now we just need the actual food. So let's just waltz in here. That is. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Never mind though. I guess that wasn't gonna be a problem. So, that is some really good things. Well, we already cost terror, so that does nothing for us. Um, we already have a content effect, so that does nothing for us. But, less attrition faction wide is really nice, and uh, campaign movement range is always one of the best things we can get as a lord. So, that is uh, enough food. Let's go and take Svedora, finally. Put it out of its misery. There we go. So now everything is miserable. <laughs> but that's alright. We can get this pretty quickly. And right, that's the flying, anti flying thing that we're never gonna use because we're mostly fighting Kiss and Whites. But we are definitely gonna need that though. I mean, I wanna get to Arkin Conduit, but that is so good though. Yeah, we're, we're gonna grab that point, and then we're gonna start working towards that again. And give you Paranoid Defender. Good. So, Svedora. Well, I guess you can have that, because we are gonna want some a little bit of growth. And... Uh, I mean, this is something we will want when we start getting more money here. Because uh, adjacent provinces is very nice, since uh, that's going to affect this. And if we get both of them, they're going to affect each other. And it's just a lot more extra money. The negative food isn't great, but we can counteract that with other stuff. So let's start with a bell. We'll uh, grab... Let's see. What capacity does the... Storm vermin or storm fiends go on. I wonder if it's like help it abominations or mutant rat ogre, maybe. I would guess mutant rat ogre, I suppose, because that's kind of their closest thing. But if they if they're in some kind of weird capacity, we might have to do some fiddling over here. But we'll see. We'll figure that out when we get to them, I suppose. For now. Oh, and we're gonna have to need this for the Doom Bombers anyway. Maybe they're not under any cap. I don't know. We're, like I said, we're gonna have to find out. But for now, we're gonna want this and... And this still. And what is this? This is some... Newfangled thing. <laughs> right, okay. So, I guess we don't really need that. The growth for all provinces is kind of nice. Oh, that's actually Captain Moon Range faction wide. That's actually really nice. We might want that. Yeah, we might want that. Because the most important things are these lines, just so we can have increase our cap and get the recruitment and all that stuff. Yeah, let's uh, let's grab this. That seems good. I like it. Let's start building some stuff over here as well. Uh, probably some growth. And I guess we are we should upgrade these. And if we can defend this, then uh, this should be pretty safe. But we do have Mother of Stanky over here, which we're not at war with right now, but they seem to have been taking care of the... The Ropesmen. Are they dead? They are. Alright. Okay, so we're just at war with uh, Sartorial and uh, Serena Catherine. Sweet. 
So, you're probably gonna run back to Dagnieper or Krasino. But we should be able to reach at least... Yeah, we can reach Dagnieper. And I hope you go there in that case. But let's uh, let's buff up our, our rat ogres. Ooh, no colonization cost. I don't know when that is gonna be relevant, but yeah. Let's go with the rat ogres. We're using plenty of those. Oh, hello. And you're doing very well. Now, nah, we're not gonna be friends with you. <laughs> I'm gonna wanna eat some orc. And we found Reichland. Sweet. Wonder how... How are they doing? Are they strong? Oh, they are strength rank 1. Okay, they are pretty strong. Nice. Uh, well, in that case, I think we're just... Uh, we're just doing it. We're going to Reichland. But, Asag, 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 Asag. We're, uh, we're not gonna be friends with you because... You know what you are? You're Spice. Because, uh, there's a lot of Kiss of Ice around this area. And I'm I'm not bored with them yet. I'm still having fun killing Kiss of Ice and they're delicious. But eventually I'm gonna want something else. That's where you come in. So, <laughs> we're gonna go and kill you soon enough. But, first of all, we're gonna have to finish off the... The Tsinchins, which uh, don't seem to be building any kind of armies. Unless they have an army in there that they've been building, but... It's been a while since we saw anything from them. And yeah, we are not... We're not collecting here, which is good. But we're gonna have some instability problems here. And we might have to have a rebellion. Because Kazarla... Hmm, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the stability is like next turn, because we are gonna have a bell. We're gonna build another bell in Kashirk, I think. And we'll see how this goes. But, let's see. Do we have a Katarine in Dagnieper? Or is someone? Nope. She went there. Of course she did. Ya bastard. Oh well, that's fine. We got a decisive victory right there. And we'll just uh, loot and occupy this. And we're just gonna leave this be. We're not gonna tax it though, because we might want to stabilize this eventually, but... Yeah, we're... While we kill this, we could be attacked from all kinds of angles, so we're not gonna want to build anything in there. Oh, more campaign movement range. Oh, well, that's probably... That probably is not for the Lord. Unless I can give it to the Lord. Ooh, the avalanche borders. Well, that goes in the other army. Can you have it? Scribe. Well, I can, but we already have it, so never mind. Doesn't matter. You can have the racer standard, though. And only the warlock engineer can have that, so I guess give one to you. Doesn't matter. And do we have a man thing slave on everyone? Oh, only the lord. And Warlock Engineers can have that. Oh, you can have that. Okay, Sorcerers could have it too. Let's grab the Scribe. And finish that leveling. Oh, you got Shock Color. That's good. Let's give you some armor. Because that's also very useful. Uh, you're gonna need Earthing though. And let's get Frenzied Assault and just go down this line now. Wait, how are... Why are we taking attrition? Wait, what? Is this something with food? No? This is recent events. What the... Oh! Wait, why do we have this? What, what, what happened? Well, at least you're not very strong. I hope you don't have a strong army close by, but I have no idea why we have that. Huh, weird. Alright, well, we're gonna take some attrition, I suppose. And at least you're not gonna die, but we might have to rest you a little bit. Wait, we can build an outpost? We have an ally? 
Wait. Because when do we have an ally? Machines and then sorcery. I don't remember allying. <laughs> I guess I did. Unless Let's get some trade. Uh, you're being stone. murdered, though. No, not interested. I would love to confederate you, though. Good plan scheme. But I guess you're doing fine right now. We still have two settlements, and you're not you're not completely dead. But I don't remember being friends with you. <laughs> but where are we? Oh, we're all the way down here. Okay. Well, if I can confederate you, that's gonna be sweet because that gives us an in into the empire, which I wouldn't mind just invading so yeah that's that's sweet what do we get from here rat ogres i do kind of like want the food but uh, i want slightly better things and we got plenty of rat ogres so let's try to get something fun and whispers of the eyeless i'm gonna be a coward but we got so much replenishment here, so we're just gonna need to sit there for like a turn and hello. And it doesn't look like you got a garrison building though. No. Okay. So we're probably gonna fight that, but we're not gonna have to fight it in a garrison. So you're finally finished. Um, you might have been finished like a turn ago. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. So, let's... Uh, ooh, we do not have a lot of money. Let's start with that. And we really need to get our food up, though. Uh, we're at 12%. This is 21. I don't think 30... Well... Is 30, like, exactly 20%? It is. So we're just gonna be below. But if we go and kill you, you're... We're gonna be just above. But I think we're gonna have to start doing control here and start taxing this. But we can at the very least start building this for 2k. And that's about what we can afford, I suppose. Because we need to have a little bit of a buffer. Yeah. Alright. Well, now we are... Right, we're gonna pop that right away. Because that's going to help us loads with our food. It's going to help with our control as well. So that's good. And that's going to help us with our, with our control. So we should be able to start taxing this next turn. That's going to help us a lot. And uh, let's actually merge these guys. Get rid of you. And... Uh, I do really want the council guard in this army. But we could probably get that later. And just get the natty bubos for now. Or the avalanche mortars. The avalanche mortars are really good. But damn are they expensive. But so are you. Now nah, let's grab that. And we're gonna go in and fight this. But we're gonna fight this next episode. Because this... This is going to be a pretty nasty one, actually. They have a lot of shooting. We definitely have better shooting, and we have a bunch of artillery. And the avalanche mortar can just annihilate units. Although they are they are kind of spread out. They're not tightly packed, which avalanche mortars love. But we still got some good, some good tools here. So, yeah, we're going to fight this next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.